what I spend my time doing is mostly on conference calls and on emails, <laughs> but it's actually what my team get to do is actually the really exciting stuff. As a data scientist, you know, we kind of have that goal of being able to build statistical models. We want to be able to see is there certain types of behavior that we can predict. We want to see if there's new products that we can build, more attributes that we can create in order to give us greater insights and to be able to solving a particular problem. I guess if there was any single piece of advice I'd like to give to like a young data scientist setting off would be try building a model that predicts something, whether it be starting off with the result of a football match or a sporting game. That's actually where I started my career actually in the gaming industry. And then trying to predict other things, entering into Kaggle competitions, becoming familiar with data, the structure of data, a wealth of actual open source data that you can actually collect and start exploring and seeing if you can use it to predict anything. Health data online, we've got the census stuff from the UK government sites that you can pull and start playing around it and see what new things you can create from it and see if there is anything you actually can predict. Getting the basics right, I think is quite important. Familiarizing yourself with a lot of assumptions. It's horses for courses when it comes to modeling. There's not one size fit all. Often during an interview question, I'll ask people if, you know, what probabilistic distribution does that type of problem fit? People will always think it's binary or it's a classification problem where that's not the case. You're trying to predict the number of something, like the number of claims or the severity of claims. They follow different distributional patterns than, let's say, you know, a binary yes or no answer.